do you believe that he is going to run again? And how would you feel if he gets elected again? Oh, everyone's calling me crazy, but I still don't think he's going to run again. I think that he is raising money and I think he is reveling in being the head of the Republican Party. I think that he is trying to install people in every down ballot race up through Congress and the Senate. And I think that, and I know that, if he's successful, he doesn't have to be president. He'll have all these people who are gonna do what he says. I don't think his ego can take losing again. I do not believe Melania Trump wants to do it again. Um, I know in her latest interview, she said, never say never. And I found that telling because normally she always says, I support him in everything he wants to do. I know her very well. I know the things she says. She didn't say that this time. She said, never say never. I don't believe he'll run again. I could be wrong, but I, I just don't think his ego can take losing. And I do believe that he is placing people in so many spots that he knows he can continue to be powerful. So you think he would not run for fear of losing? Yeah, correct. And in the meantime, look, he's raising tons of money. He is still the leader of the Republican Party. Everybody is looking to him, kissing his ass, going to Mar-a-Lago. And the people who are getting in will completely do what he says, even if he's not the next president. And at first, I got to tell you, the whole notion of like putting him in as Speaker of the House, at first I heard that. I was like, that is nuts. I'm not even going to entertain it. I'm starting to weirdly entertain it based on the people that, you know, he's backing in Congress and who could win. Some of the things that you've said, and you've made it clear that these are your opinions. Yes. But because of his admiration of some of these dictators, I know you said on The View that he admires them and that he, you think he might want to be able to just kill whoever spoke out against him. If he got in again and didn't have to worry about getting reelected, so you know, wasn't worried about the future, not that he would start killing people, but he might be a little less accountable for what he did policy-wise and going forward. Do you think that worries the RNC? Uh, no. Sadly, no. I think that the RNC is so worried about raising money that they're not thinking that through which is disappointing. I do believe that if he ran and won for president again, that we could have, you know, our first kind of dictator on our hands, because again, he will have installed people. And we're talking state level offices. He's endorsing secretaries of state that you have to remember will overturn elections. Like who the things that were stopped when, when he lost there are people I can point to Arizona right now. There's somebody running for Secretary of State, Mark Fincham, and running for Governor, Carrie Lake. They have both said open, openly that they will decertify the election. It was stolen. It, it, da, da, da. So, you know, even if he doesn't win, you know what? Now that I'm talking this through with you, I think that he's probably waiting to see who gets put in. And if he were to become president again and he's got all these extremists in office, what's to stop him? And think about what could happen. There will be no guardrails and there it will be revenge. It will be all revenge. I just don't think that it will be about our country. It'll be about exacting revenge. And as you know, you can a president is two terms. So he's not gonna have to worry about reelection. I remember specifically when I worked at the White House, he would have some ideas and people would say to him, Sir, that's a second term idea, meaning second term won't matter. We're not running for re-election. I think it will be chaos. I do. Well, if he is so driven by revenge and so unchecked in going after people, do you worry about his reaction, their reaction to you writing this book? Oh, of course. Yes. I mean, I've already had, they've been digging into my life. They've, um, They've had PIs following my bio biological father. They have been shopping crazy stories about me. I mean, they've already started to try to hurt me. 
very worried. I mean, I don't even want to say it, but I feel like I'll be one of those people who's like, I'm headed to Canada, but not because I don't love my country, but because I will be scared. Yeah. He's not a forgiving man. Whether he gets reelected or not, at this point, have you talked to either him or Melania since the book came out? No, I have not. I, um, I talked to Melania the night that I had resigned and I said, hey, it's going to get out that I resigned. You know, I plan to put something out saying I really enjoyed doing the work that I did for you. And she never responded and we have never spoken since. And she, and uh, the president and I never spoke. We spoke. It's funny. After her RNC speech, um, we were in the cross hall in the White House and he was saying how great the speech was. And he said, oh, my gosh, I'm going to take you back talking to me like I'm going to take you back to the West Wing. And I'm like, that's never going to happen ever. And he gave me a hug, which was the first hug I'd ever gotten from him ever. First and only hug in six years. And that's the last time I spoke with Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I know that they both know um, the things I'm saying have been true. You know, I give them credit where credit's due. I know that they are both very aware that um, the personal things that happened to me are true. I told them. I confided in them. And, you know, I guess we're at a stalemate. If they continue to harass you, if they are following your family, if they're doing these things, what do you think will come of that? Do you think this will blow over and you'll go on with your life? Or do you think there will be something that comes of it? No, I mean, I'm I'm going on with my life now. Um, they've already tried to shop stories about me and I've been able to like show what the actual facts are. Uh, every bad thing about me in the world is out there. So, you know, uh, unless they do anything that endangers my children, it's fine. I, I've got nothing to hide. Um, so it is what it is. <laughs> 